guys welcome back to my channel today I am coming at you as you can tell by the title of the video with my current favorites it's actually going to be kind of a current slash 2015 favorites this is the first time I'm sitting down in 2016 and I know it's already like February but Hey, I hope that everyone has had a great start to 2016. Uh, for me, it's been lovely. It's been a time of reflection and just thinking about what I want to accomplish this year. Um, if you are confused by my hair, this is the Free Tress Janie wig and I do have a review posted about this wig. I will link it down below and I will have it um, somewhere in the video where you can go check it out please do she's a great wig and i really love her and she's definitely one of my current favorites this is actually the second time i'm filming this video the first time i just didn't like the footage i'm still a little bit a little bit out of practice so i hope that i don't get too rambly and crazy and start saying stuff that just doesn't matter um i just broke this nail so if you see it ignore it girl but let's start with the foundation of everything and that is skincare so for basically all of 2015 I was using this face cleanser by soap and glory it's the vitamin C face wash 3-in-1 daily detox um, this is a rather old bottle it used to be blue oh no it's not blue the product inside is blue right and this is pink this is an old bottle. This is the bottle that I used basically all of 2015. I had it for maybe about nine months. I bought it in the Sephora sale in 2014, but Soap and Glory is no longer carried at Sephora. Um, you can find this at SkinStore.com and Beauty.com. I definitely saw a visible difference in my skin once I started using this. I, my complexion was just all around brighter if that makes sense not lighter like not skin lightening but brighter like more radiant and more um, you know kind of glowing like it was a really great cleanser towards the end of 2016 I got this Murad starter kit this is the environmental shield starter kit and the reason I got this kit was because of makeup Shayla she talks about several of the products that are included in this starter kit so I thought that this was a great way to try the products without investing you know a ton of money this starter kit is $45 they had it at Sephora I'm not sure if they still do but I'm pretty sure they still have it at Ulta and in it you get four products you get a cleanser which is the essential C cleanser you get the rapid age spot and pigment lightening serum and you get the advanced active radiant serum and you also get the essential C daily moisturizer with SPF 30 um, they're all really small as you can see in the clips but I got when I got mine I probably got about six to eight weeks worth of use out of all of them this the moisturizer is actually my original moisturizer and I've had been using that for about three months now but this the uh, age spot and pigment lightening serum is what I ran out of first I think just because of the packaging just doesn't really allow you to get all of it out of there as I'm not one who suffers from acne or I don't really have a lot of black spots on my face um, but I did get a hormonal pimple on my chin this last go round with our flow and I picked at it because I can't not pick at them and it caused a little scar I don't know if you could still see it like right in here and literally after using this twice like I use it at night two after two nights it was like visibly lighter like significantly visibly lighter renews skin for smoother more youthful complexion so even though I'm not suffering from dark marks it definitely still I still want to have renewed skin that is smoother and a more youthful complexion so I think that I will continue to use this and this is actually the second starter kit that I've gotten um, I also ended up buying the full size cleanser because it was on sale at the top of the year both Ulta and Sephora were having sales so I did get the full size cleanser I am a total fan as soon as someone has a sale be it Ulta or Sephora where I can get 15 or 20 percent off of these products full size I will have to go ahead and invest in them they are everything 
I feel like skincare is going to be the longest part of this video because I've become a little bit obsessed. Okay, so next up, recently I got the Foreo Luna Mini. Now, I have only used this a little bit and not really researched how I'm supposed to use it. <laughs> um, but I can say that I'm really enjoying it. I have also seen a visible difference in the size of my pores when I don't have any makeup on. Now, that could be because of several different things that I'm using. But right now, I'm going to attribute a little bit of it to the Foreo Mini. I'm going to continue using it. I did save the packaging in case I feel like it does nothing and I will return it. But right now, I am a big fan of the Luna Mini. Then as far as masks go, the mask that I'm currently really loving, I've this I got as a sample size and I've used it three times now. And there's enough in there for me to get at least another three or four uses out of there but it's the peter thomas roth irish moor mud mask it's a purifying black mask that claims to be purifying refining decongesting and a hydrating mask helps to purify and refine the look of skin volcanic ash revitalizes and activated charcoal draws out toxins and impurities I have been loving this mask. I have tried the Glam Glow that everyone is always up, you know, talking about. Woo, crazy. Uh, Glam Glow. Um, tried it. Eh. But this is the one that I've really been loving. My skin just feels smoother. And again, my pore size has been reduced in this area where they tend to be larger. And my skin just looks really plump and youthful and hydrated after I use this mask. Then in terms of creams and potions, I have two eye creams that I have been using. Okay, Janie is trying to go rogue, y'all. Get her. This Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, I have been using a good portion of 2015. It's like almost gone. For the daytime, I really enjoy this. I This is also a sample size. It came in a 500 point perk from Sephora. Side note, point perks and free products from Sephora and Ulta are great ways to try skincare out. But this ginseng um, refreshing eye cream for the daytime, I really like. It claims to help depuff and it's brightening and those are all things I want happening in my under eye area. I am a big fan of this. This is kind of a new in, but I am really liking it so far. And that's the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This one I'm sure you've seen everywhere as well. It's a very popular eye cream. Again, Makeup Shayla. I mean, the girl just has amazing skin, right? Like, her skin looks great when she's not wearing makeup, so I have to try what she's using to see if it makes me look like that. <laughs> I've been using this as my nighttime eye cream, and it is very moisturizing, very soothing, and nice on the skin, so loving that. And then lastly, for nighttime cream, I've been using the Origins High Potency Nitamin. I've been using this for a while. You can see it's almost gone. Definitely purchasing more of this when it is gone because I really love the way that when I put this on, in the morning my skin looks amazing. My Alginous Regenerative Anti-Aging Lotion, I think I mentioned this in a haul, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I've been using this for years. I do plan on doing a skincare video because like I said, I have really seen a visible difference in my skin and I would like to share with you guys what it is that I'm, well I just share what I'm using, but in a more complete video. Next, primers. I got this Hourglass Mineral Veil, not this size, but a smaller size as a 100 point perk sample. And I was looking for a primer to work with my NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation because I felt like the primer that I had been using, which was the smoothing one from Smashbox, Makeup Forever. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing. It just wasn't getting along. So the Hourglass Mineral Veil along with the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, these two together for me have been awesome. Okay. They were made to be, they were made for each other. It works amazingly. For most of 2015, I was wearing this foundation just trying to figure out a primer and then I found this primer so together I love them. So for most of 2015, this is what I was wearing on my face. The other primer that I am wearing now is again, Makeup Shayla. <laughs> Should do a makeup Shayla made me buy a video because although that might just be what I should call this video but this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base 
uh, Shayla always talks about this primer. Her skin always looks smooth and amazing with her foundation on. So I figured, let me go ahead and give this a try. I've been using it for maybe two weeks now. I can't say that I really actually I'm into it so far so it's it's a definitely a current fave and then on top of that what I have been using because I need to be faster in my everyday get ready to face the day face I've been using this Smashbox photo filter creamy powder foundation and I'm using the color 8 and this is what I have on my face now with just some concealer and then my regular toppers. But I have become a fast fan of this foundation. It definitely says just what it, it's definitely a photo filter. Like it's powder, it goes on really light. I just use a Real Techniques powder brush and kind of pat and buff it in. And I look filtered. Like I really am a fan of this foundation. It only goes up to nine. So this is the second to darkest shade. And I know that there are definitely people out there with darker and deeper skin tones than mine so that's the only shade on this product and then the other foundation like product that I've been using and loving is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream I actually got this from a friend who purchased it and it was not a, a win for her and I tried it and I love it this stuff is just moisture surge like my skin feels feels super moisturized once I put this on uh, it doesn't provide a whole lot of coverage definitely not anything like an actual foundation coverage this is a little more every day when my skin was feeling a little bit drier uh, well I will say though that I did use this the first time that I tried to film this video and I usually when I wear a, a liquid foundation I don't set my whole face I just find that it can be a little cakey it can look like too much makeup to me on me so I just used this when I tried to do my makeup to film this video the last time and I looked like a shiny disco ball on camera so it, in person it doesn't look like that in person it looks amazing you look hydrated and glowy on camera though I looked like a slick grease ball <laughs> But it's still a current fave because I do really like it. Now on to concealers. I have been loving Maybelline concealers. I only have here in front of me the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. But I, they also have one called the Master Conceal. Which I have also been loving. And for every day I have been wearing these because they're really light. The Master Conceal for a beat face moment are perfect. Okay like perfect. Um. They, don't, they also don't go that deep in color. They're more for highlighting. Like even for me, the darkest shade is a highlight shade. But the Fit Me concealers have definitely been a favorite of 2016 and 2015. I really discovered these. This one, there are a couple, you can see that I've been using these. They're almost empty. So the three colors I have here are kind of the three colors that I use the most. This is 30 Cafe. This is 35 Deep, which actually is lighter than 30. And then this is 25. So I use just for every day when I don't really want to highlight, I use either the 30 Cafe or the 35. The 35 will give me just a little bit of highlight, um, but the 30, the 30 Cafe is kind of almost basically my skin tone. So on a more natural neutral day, I use one of these. And then I use the 25 medium when I actually want to highlight. What I have on today, I believe I used the 30 or the 25. I actually can't remember. But what I do is after I put on my primer, I just put the concealer on and then put the Smashbox powder foundation directly on top. The color on these because they are a little deceiving in that they are much lighter than what they look like in the tube. But this is the 25 and this is the 30. So I think I actually have on the 25 is what I have on my face right now. And like I said, I just put the powder on top and then um, it kind of tones it down and still leaves it highlight, you know, still leaves it lighter for that look, but it's not overpowering. Current fave, and you guys have seen me use this before, but this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder um, Palette. And I'm sure I've talked about these before, but this is dim light incandescent light and radiant light and once I put my powder foundation over my concealer whew, 
Come on, girl. After I put the powder foundation over my concealer, I mix together radiant light and dim light. Mix those two together and just sweep it under there to kind of bring a little uh, lightness and radiance to my under eye area. This has been a current fave, but you've definitely heard me talk about this before. Really love this palette. I mean, for the price of this thing, you kind of have to love it. And if you don't love it, you should take it back. One more powder, and no surprise, it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now, when I am doing a more nighttime look or just a heavier, you know, face, this is what I would use. The hype is real. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Next up with face, I have to give it up to my um, Anastasia custom contour kit um, I also talked about this in a haul and it has definitely been a favorite of mine since I got it i said when I bought this that I was looking for a contour slash bronze color that wasn't as red as the Queen collection and the blunt those two always show up really red on me so I am wearing oh that highlight is popping but I am wearing um, these all three <laughs> aggressive all three of the contour colors here and this is Havana which is really the like star of the show espresso and carob um I take a mixture of Havana and espresso and first give a good bronzing and then just to hit that contour up in here I use um the espresso to really kind of deepen the contour here but those three colors mm-hmm yeah. Next on face, I love, I'm not a huge, huge blush person, but the one that I always go back to that I am actually wearing on my face right now is NARS Orgasm. Like before I was even wearing like a full face of makeup, I had this blush. Like this blush goes with everything, goes with every skin, color, skin tone. It's amazing and then highlights which I love but I think that we've all gone a little overboard with the highlights no so the highlight that was my favorite through most of 2015 was the Lorac tantalizer baked bronzer it says that it's a bronzer and like if you're even just a little bit brown this is a highlighter and this travel size I think is seven or eight dollars and you can see I still have it this for most of 2015 this was my jam what's on my face now though that i have been loving so much is the mac extra dimension blah, blah, blah. extra dimension skin finish in oh darling i know people were talking about shaft ago but i'm telling you oh darling yes oh darling it was a limited edition i did the most that i have ever done to get any piece of makeup um for this because I have watched Whisper of Guilt be talked about so much and it looked so beautiful and if this is at all a dupe for it anyway I had to have it and one that is not limited edition that I have also been loving and kind of wearing on an everyday is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar. I love this highlight as well. It's just beautiful on brown skin. Um, I actually want to try some of her other ones. Coming to the end of this situation, mascara. My ride or die, never let me down, is definitely the benefit they're real. My eyelashes are super, super curly, so I usually straighten them with an eyelash curler but flipped upside down. And then I go in with this she never lets me down she has the great brush that has lots of hairs the formula can be a little tough to get off um, but it's very lengthening which is really what I'm after it can be mildly thickening but length is really what I'm after because I like a really splayed bottom and top lash is what I really like a current favorite though that I just discovered is this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir um got this as a sample it's what i'm wearing on my eyes now my eyeliner is a little jacked so don't look too hard but this mascara is really really nice current fave ride or die 2015. then randomly the sephora brush cleanser for most of 2015 i was using the beauty blender solid cleanser and it is very nice 
love it still but I just love this Sephora solid cleanser a little bit more and there are two reasons why I do the smell is yummy because it has some type of oil in it uh, argan oil I think that the packaging is all all around better because this can stay in here won't come out it's totally fine you could swirl your brushes around in there for me the beauty blender solid had that little removable disc thing that just didn't make any sense I think it was supposed to be for you to scrub your brushes on but it didn't really work but this little pad that basically looks like the brush cleanser gloves and mats that are all going around this is basically that you just scrub your brush on there after you get a little soap on it rinse it it's clean and I think it's maybe two dollars cheaper which is like not really a selling point but and then fragrance all summer long your girl smelled like Prada candy and all next summer your girl will smell like Prada candy not the floral and not the whatever the new one is called I mean those are nice too but the original Prada candy is nice but two new fragrances that I have really been loving is one the Marc Jacobs decadence I think that this packaging although cute is super annoying when you're actually trying to let it live in your life um, but this fragrance is dark and moody and smells amazing yeah it smells decadent like she is sexy um, I feel slinky I feel mysterious like I this one is very nice and then the I'm gonna I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly it's the Atelier Cologne and this is the vanilla in sense incense let's just go with vanilla incense they always push the Mandarin version of this perfume on you as at Sephora as a sample I guess maybe it's really popular I think it smells like poo poo but this one vanilla sandalwood musk it's just i've been wearing this every day and then last but not nope not last not there yet i've got two lippies um for me on the day to day um i don't wear a whole lot of lipstick because reapplying it can be a pain in the butt I just want to be able to be at my desk at work like living my life um, eating drinking whatever and like not have to worry about what my lipstick looks like when somebody walks up to me and says something like oh man I just ate that donut that was sitting over there and I didn't reapply my lip and now someone's coming to talk to me what are my lips looking like I don't have time to do that okay so I generally don't wear a whole lot of lipstick but what I am wearing on my lips now which is a new fave is max hug me it is a luster finish and for me I have a dark or have a darker up, upper lip a more pigmented upper lip and this is like perfect nude like and it's the luster, so it's rather moisturizing. I'm not feeling the need to wear a lip liner with it. It's just nude. It just gives me that perfect little punch of pink so that my lips look like, you know, I did something to match the rest of my face because I put on everything else. MAC Hug Me. Um, it's really comfortable. If it wears off a little bit, that's fine. Yeah. I hope it looks okay on camera because in person I really like it. And then last but not least in regular lipsticks is one by the Lip Bar. It's in the color Merlot. It's a really nice dark color. These um, Lip Bar lipsticks, A of all, are super cute and they're super easy to wear. Like they are very moisturizing on the lips. So love that color by lip bar and then last but not least candles I am NOT a huge fan of candles at Bath and Body Works I don't know why call me bougie it's just not I always call it value spa I think I've talked about this before somewhere too maybe in my fall must-haves it was a candle or my fall faves it was a candle um, but this one is kind of a, a new in fragrance that I love and this is the amber lumiere Amber Lumiere, I think so. Yes, it smells divine. 
Oh, the other one that I love is the Baltic Amber. Um, but this one, I don't know, might be my new love. It's like the Baltic Amber. The Baltic Amber smells like a little bit more like a man. And this one smells like a very sensual woman. Yeah. Or no, nah, I don't know. I found this one at Ricky's NYC. They do have them on Ricky's online. And they also have them um, on Nordstrom.com. Which... Get your Ebates, girl. Nordstrom. Mac? Nordstrom. Okay. So, I think that concludes my kind of 2015 and current favorites. If you tried any of these products, you know, and you love them, let me know down below. If you've tried something new that I should be trying, um, also let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I hope everyone has had a awesome start to your new year um and yeah thank you for watching as always please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in my next one bye